Come on, yeah. Good evening and welcome to Sea Fishing with CJ. And again, we're down by the pond. <coughs> oh dear, and I've got some sort of allergic reaction to something, hay fever maybe. Um, again, I'm afraid it's not sea fishing, so I apologise for that. But we've been, <coughs> oh dear, we've been busy working up in the Midlands and we're up here for the night and we're going to be working uh, near Doncaster tomorrow, so I'll take the opportunity to have a little fish. And although I don't like declaring my species tonight, what I would like to catch is a tench. I haven't caught one of those for a very long time. <coughs> oh dear. We've got a choice of um, some baits, different baits. But what we're going to try for for te with tench today is some sweet corn, is the plan. So, I'm going to hair rig some sweet corn on here. Still remains of some dried up worm on here from the other night when we were on here. Again, all these things have moved on. Since my days of fishing, so we've got a jar. Bonoffi flavoured sweet corn. Quite warm. In the car. Oh dear. Excuse my snorting, but I'm having some sort of hay fever reaction, I think. Look at you. A bird of prey squeaking in and out up above me somewhere. See them, right? so we're going to hair rig a couple of corns on here. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's a better one. And that's three hairs, three corns hair rigged onto there. So they're hair rigged onto the, onto the hook there. We've got this water plumbed, the depth plumbed from the last time we fished it. Let's put some free offerings out there. So the line's all wrapped around the end of the rod tip, as it would be. We were hoping to have fish and chips tonight. But of course, it's traditional here, it's a Monday, and what's shut on a Monday night? Fish and chip shops, traditionally. We'll see if this looks like it's resting in the bottom. Sit that in the middle of the water. Where we put the free offerings out? More of a breeze blowing tonight, actually causing my float to trot along, bobbing up and down. Put the rod down and rest it in the reeds. Let's extend the net, let's have the confidence of our Very promising. Cheers, Tetley Smooth Ale. Right, not a great deal going on here. So we've got Pete on mic this time, so so I haven't got to mess around in the edit trying to so you can hear what he's saying. <laughs> That's not always a bad thing. No. 
quite different tonight. There's Isn't obviously breeze blowing. It's crazy. And uh, it's almost like a current up here. Oh, Tetley's. They don't just make tea, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've been put, throwing some bread offerings in, but there's no, no activity on the bread at all. Which is unusual, because every time we've come here before, they've been going loopy, haven't they, the, the chub? Yeah, I was here yesterday, and there was probably four or five people fishing down along this. Oh, right, perhaps they caught them all. You could hear a, hear a buzzard flying around earlier on. I assume it was a buzzard. From the, the cry sounded like a buzzard. Yeah, lots of wildlife. There's lots, I'll tell you what there is a lot of. There's lots of grouse around here. Yeah, when I drove out the other day, there was a big, big covey of them ran along the path in front of me. Well, on, on site, there was um, a covey of about Not ten. Not grouse, partridge. Uh, partridge, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, partridge, there was ten of them. Yeah. Um, well, it must be, I mean, it, it might be the same little bunch. The but little they, ones, yeah. Right. Yeah. Mum and Dad and a... Well, now they live in coveys, don't they? So it's quite a classic. And, and they're red, they were red legs, they weren't the Frenchmen, so... Yeah, it might you, you be. You're on the bottom, are you? Yeah. I, I, I have a feeling that the float has shifted up a bit because I cast there and it's drifted to there and stopped there. So we might bring it in and... Just sink the float a bit deeper. What bait are you using? Sweet corn. Hair rig sweet corn. Got three, three kernels of sweet corn on there. So tench are a bottom feeding fish. So if the float doesn't fully cock it's an indication that lead shot has landed on the bottom and that's good because it'd be fishing hard on the bottom which is what we want really oh dear so had a good day yeah not too bad It's quite chilly, isn't it? It is. It is cold, isn't it? It was cold during the day. Have you seen they're doing the glamping up there, look? I think that's what that is. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah. 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 The farm that I got, where my caravan is in, down in Cornwall, they've got a couple of, about four or five glamping um, car uh, tents. I think they do quite well out of it, actually. I was looking at another, other sites um, earlier. All right. And um, I was looking on one, and there was one in Doncaster. It was only about five minutes down the road from where the site was. Oh, right. Yeah, that's all right. And I looked at it, and it looked a bit harder. It's only a blooming um, uh, clothing is optional. <laughs> it's a naturist, <laughs> naturist caravan site. All oh, right. Well, that's better than the thing that's next door to the site down in Lutterworth, that's for sure. It's a bloody dogging site, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Dogging hotel. I, I was talking. I went in to buy some bait in um, Tony's Tackle in Eastbourne, and the guy there has just come back from Link Lincolnshire. He's been on a fishing holiday here, staying in um, like a cabin thing on a lake. Oh yeah. Um, looked very nice. Literally, yeah. You got your balcony here. You have got about 20 meters of grass, and then and it's a lake. It was a hard. You know, and they, were, they said they were fishing right down underneath this um, sort of jetty thing, catching big carp. Big carp. Don't know how much it cost him. Yeah, that wouldn't be cheap, no. No. That, that static caravan I've got, you know, it's um, in Barmer. They're, they're fetching um, over £800 a week for the, the static caravan, like mine. Really? No. Oh, there we go. Chub will come back. the trouble is when it's like this if you take it up off the bottom all it does is just you're constantly yeah bringing it back aren't you 
I mean, even even with this being on the bottom, it's the the bow in the lines brought it brought it towards me. I've got a fly rod in the van. I was thinking about putting a pellet on a fly and fly casting it out with a pellet. The trouble is in this breeze like this, it's yeah. really hard work to get in the line like that. And yeah, and, and, it, and it would just go off down that way all the time. Did I hear sweet corn coming off then? There's a piece by your tin, isn't it? Yeah. Thing. I've got a feeling I might have lost my bait. Let's have a look. Oh no, it's still there. I mean, sweet corn might not work here, of course. I mean, the sweet corn should pick up carp as well, shouldn't it? Yeah. Oops, and that's definitely, something definitely something going on there. That was definitely a bite that wasn't the lead dragon. Wind's dying away now as well, which is good. I'm going to fall off this chair and fall in the water in a minute. Bit of a... Make sure you record it if you do. <laughs> yeah, get it on film. Put it in the outtakes. Well, that was a bite. <sighs> oh. Nothing, no contact. Weird, 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 weird. Try and put sweet corn actually on the hook as opposed to on a hair. Put one piece of sweet corn actually on the hook. See if that actually. Makes contact better. So I was used to tench fish in the days before hair rigs. We've got something going on. Is that a little bob up and bob down? go with a bit of bread. See if you can't run any one of these chub. Just wait one of these chub to come up. Let's get rid of the split shot. <coughs> See if we can't get a chub. Might work, might not.
fish on. Feels a bit better than a chub, or if it's a chub, it's a good one. It's another common cock, I think. Fish. Okay. Go in the weeds, come out of the weed. That's a, I tell you what it is, it's a barbel. Whoa, that's putting up a fight. Baby, yeah, baby, a barbel. Well, that is a first for me. Oh, powerful fish, bloody strong. Come on, sit still. A barbel, my first ever. What a beauty, what a beauty. That's the way to put them back. Trying to walk up the end, so I've never seen the end of it. I mean, all the ones in the know seem to fish at the ends, don't they? <laughs> well, it depends which way the wind's blowing. It'll yeah. be down that end there, that's where they'll be, if that's right. Well, I've still got a little bit of activity on the, on the surface after little bits of bread and what have you. Um, the sun has almost gone now, so I can only just see my float. So we won't be fishing for much longer, but it's not been a blank and it's been a PB and a first for me. So well happy, well made up with that. Um, rather do that, catch one decent fish, than catch loads and loads of uh, lesser fish. Whoops, here we go. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Pete. Yeah, got one? Yeah. Just saying that's the end of it, I'm about to pack up. And then my float went diving under and steamed off up the, up the channel there. If I was going to name it, I'd say it was another one. It certainly looks long. It's staying deep. I'm trying to get my drag set right so it can take a bit of line if it needs to. Solid old fish. Get his head up.
out of all. Not played out yet, that's for sure. Yeah. Good fight, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, when, you know, when you hold them, they're just all muscle. Like a bass with whiskers. There we go. <laughs> Jeez, mate. Oh, that feels a quite weight there. Yeah. I mean, uh, for, it's, uh, what? it's a solid fish. They're very solid, aren't they? Nothing like a, a river barbel. No. Is in colour. No. So so much darker. What the river barbels are darker, yeah. or this is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot more silver. Don't bite me. I put my finger in a conger eel's mouth the other day to hook out, and it bit me. <laughs> I felt the teeth. <laughs> These haven't got teeth. It's just giving me a nasty suck. Look at that boy. Look at that bad boy. Well made up. Let's get him back in. Oh, he's been in the water for more than enough time. And away. <laughs> Good one, mate. Yeah, pretty chuffed with it. I think it's probably. That's bread again, then, yeah? Sorry? Bread again. Yeah. And right in the margins. Camera's gone off. No, no, it's right. It's, it's just the, uh, the, the 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 viewfinder does energy save thing. Isn't it? Mind you, I've got a cart bigger than that in my pond that I'm. Another species. Little bream. So, I mean, I, that's how I started course fishing was bream with, on bread. In rise lip lido. Quite a nice 
outside breathe it. In Northern Ireland, you get uh, bream roach hybrids. So they fight like a roach, but they're big like a bream. Slaps. Yeah. That's that. Yeah, that's all right. Bronzy. <laughs> Come back here. Slimy. Yeah, so, anyway, so we're gonna turn it around so you can see the sunset, what's left of it. And uh, the sun's going down, reflecting off the water. Let's see if we can get that in the picture. And the moon, yeah. It's not quite high enough to get it reflecting off the water, is it? Moon, heat in the moonlight. <laughs> yeah, he's he's been challenging me to a contest, but I think he's uh, he's realised I'll probably win. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. So. Yeah. With my bread again. Yeah, with the bread. We got light from that lamp, so I've got some light in the face. Right, everyone, um, another fantastic night. Um, we started out the evening with um, a couple of carp. Actually, we didn't. We caught them another day, so it's two days on, the, on, on here. Um, and then I've had a couple of barbel. Two PBs. Well, one of them was probably bigger than the other. I don't know. I didn't wait. No, probably the last one was bigger, but they're definitely my PB, and I know that because I've never caught barbel before. So cracking night, and uh, yeah. Gonna have a glass of port now, I think, and, and then bed because I am carry pack. Yeah, I know the channel's called Sea Fishing with CJ, and it's about sea fishing. But you know, all fishing is fun. Uh, if you like the old course angling and you see you like what I'm doing, give us a comment in the comments, and, and I'll do more of it. Um, I didn't get many views on on the first video I put out, but uh, what the hey? Um, yeah, if you enjoy tonight, uh, please leave a comment and. Uh, Click the like button and uh, we'll do some more. So, good night, everybody, and boo!